as the Cape and Cutter open pacing mares line up in behind the gate. The winds have kicked up quite a bit from the west. Now about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Fully committed in time frame. Start in trailing spots in the second tier. And here they come. And they're off and Armbrough View is blasting out of there for Morrill looking to clear the field in the early going car trick Hanover strides out in second and Frightening P is using her good speed to get involved for Luke on the outside into third. Fourth is Artifaction Stable Mate Shades of Artist fifth on the outside. Sixth is fully committed. Then Armbrough Wallflower is in the flow there in seventh. Following her as Molly can do it is three wide as time frame in wants two wide position between horses. Tapella Rosen also stuck out there three deep. Open in quarter in 27 and 1. 11th on the inside is Art Collection and in the two wide flow but at the back of the pack trailing the field is Nuclear Finale. A big pack of mares as they head down the back stretch well bunched toward the half mile marker as Shades of Art has taken the lead. Card Trick Hanover out and rolling for Moiseev on the outside and Card Trick Hanover now moves on to the front. Frightening P third. Armbro View set in. She's being shuffled back right now. Left first over on the outside is Armbro Wallflower who's now fourth as they reach the half in 56 and 2. Following that cover on the outside is Molly Can Do It getting carried closer in a perfect striking spot. Her stablemate, Tapella Roseanne, is third over on the outside. Artifaction has been shuffled back. She's eighth on the inside. Time frame in fourth over in the flow. Racing in tenth on the outside as they move around the turn with five sixteenths to come as nuclear finale. Then it's fully committed. Art Collection is sixth over. She's twelfth and last on the outside as they reach three quarters in 126 and 4. Four, a 30 and 2 third quarter breather there, but Armbro Wallflower has taken the lead from Car Trick Hanover. Armbro Wallflower is strong despite the first over trip. Molly can do it up on the outside, now racing in second. Late pace from time frame in toward third. Here comes Molly can do it, who's charging hard on the outside. And the Breeders' Crown champ, Molly can do it, rallies pass to win. Armbro Wallflower second, time frame in third in 1 53 and 3. Returning to the winner's circle is number 2A, Molly Can Do It. Six-year-old mare by Cam Luck out of Reveille Kathleen by Abercrombie, owned by the Enviro Stables Limited, Langfelder, A&I Stables, and Three Brothers Stables from New York and Georgia. Linda Toscano, the trainer, and Dave Miller is in the sulky. Two in a row for Molly Can Do It as she rallies past to win round one of the Cape and Cutter in 153 and three-fifths. Final quarter in 26 and 4. 2A, Molly Can Do It, pays 680, 3 even, 3 even. Second, number 5, Armbro Wallflower, 320, 260. And finishing third, number 10, Time Frame N, 840. Exacta 2 and 5, pays 2160. Trifecta 2, 5, 10, $490.20. And the pick 3 of 10, 6, 2, pays 268, 60. 